All right, let's just read the question. It says, which graph represents the solution of y is less than or equal to x plus 3, and y is greater than or equal to negative 2x minus 2? So here's a really, this is my way of solving this problem. First of all, I think, well, what would y equals x plus 3 look like, right? So before I talk about y is less than or equal to x plus 3, what would it look like if y was equal to x plus 3? And then I think, well, let's use our mx plus b format, right? That's where m is our slope and b is our intercept. So here the m value is next to the x. It's a coefficient of 1. So here our slope is 1. And the b value, our intercept, is 3. That's the b value. b is 3. So if I graph this equation, I'm looking for a line where we have a slope of 1 and an intercept of 3. Uh, but of course, this is, when, this is actually when y is less than or equal to x plus 3. So first I'll have a line um, where we have a slope of 1 and an intercept of 3. But then y is everything less than or equal to that line. So it's that line and everything below it, right? It's this one right here. Actually. This line, if you look at it, right, closely, if you inspect it, you can see, okay, there's the y-intercept of 3. Here's our slope of 1. You can see we go, for example, up 2 over 2. Remember, slope is rise divided by run. So 2 divided by 2, and that's the slope of 1. So this matches it. And then on our graph, we're shading everything below it, as these lines are right here. So this is everything on the line and everything below it. If it was just um, y is less than x plus 3, if it was that, you would have a dotted line and then see everything shaded below it, right? So that's something that would change if it was um, less than and not less than or equal to. The line would become a dotted line. Now we've got to find the next one. Um, y is greater than or equal to negative 2x minus 2. So I first think of y equals negative 2x minus 2. Here m is negative 2, our slope is negative 2, and b is negative as well. It's a negative y-intercept. So we're going to think about that line. Then we're going to say, OK, I want everything above or equal to that line, negative 2x minus 2. And I see that in the same graph right here. We've got a negative slope. So I'm inferring maybe this is it. Then I see the intercept here is at negative 2. Our slope is negative as well, right? Pick any point. And then we go negative 2 on the y-axis and up 1 on the x-axis. So our slope triangle, I'll draw it over here. We're going down 2 and then up 1. So our slope is our rise divided by our run of this line. Sorry, bad sketch. So the rise is negative 2, the run's 1, and our slope is negative 2 over 1, which is just negative 2. So this is the correct slope and intercept. So the last thing to look at is the shading, and I noticed that on this graph, we are shading everything above it. And it might, maybe it's hard to see, but these lines right here is the region above the line that's shaded, and this is the correct graph, choice 3. If they ask you uh, for a solution set of these inequalities, it's where the two shaded regions cross. In this case, everything in here. Sorry, it's badly shaded in. So they ask you for the solution set at any point where these two shaded regions cross each other. All right, I hope this helped.